What we've got here is we've got a series of VMAXs, and they're running the latest version of Ingenuity 5876. Uh, you can see that we've got a VMAX uh, 40K here, and uh, the beautiful thing, simple and easy to manage because it's now got the Unisphere management UI. So if I click on this, and I want to simply and easily improve the performance of a database application, I can go in and configure a fast policy. It's simple and easy, so let's just say that I want to call up new policy fast rocks. I can assign to a, a solid state tier a percentage of the uh, storage. We'll assign uh, another percentage, like 7% to uh, you know, 10 or 15k RPM fiber channel or SAS disks. And then we'll take uh, you know, 90% and put it in low cost either SATA or nearline SAS disks. Now again, this simple policy, uh, you can use tools from EMC to identify uh, the best tiering policy, but it's really simple and easy to configure a tiering policy and to take that policy and associate it to a storage group, which will uh, associate it with um, an individual set of hosts, whether they're virtual or physical. And uh, based on that policy, uh, the VMAX or uh, other EMC arrays will use the fast VP policy and start to apply it against the data which should be promoted uh, to higher performance media and uh, will uh, demote the data that should be cold and put on lower cost uh, capacity media um, and all of that stuff happens automatically. Where we're taking this next is that uh, we think that the idea of fast uh, fully automated storage tiering can actually expand beyond the array itself. So for example, in the future, you'll be able to apply uh, VF cache uh, policy to fast VP. So for example, you'll be able to go in and identify, hey, we're going to put a very small amount of data actually on the host itself, on the VF cache card inside the host. Uh, we'll put uh, some percentage in solid state within the array where it's shared, and we'll put a uh, percentage uh, on low-cost, uh, high-capacity, low-performance media um, for data that's cold. Now, again, what, one thing that's interesting is the idea here is it could actually be greater than 100% because um, the uh, uh, VF cache actually extends the capacity beyond what's actually in the array itself. So what we'll do is we'll now reassociate that um, uh, those hosts, which again, in a storage group, it could be multiple hosts to that new fast policy along with the devices that are in that, and uh, very rapidly, you could start to see that uh, the performance, both for the application in terms of transactions per minute, will ramp up over time as we initially employ the first tiering policy, which uh, uses solid state within the array. And then later on, as we uh, uh, add the fast policy to include VF cache on the host, goes up even higher. So transactions per minute increases, while at the same time, the I.O. latency decreases.